All right, guys, uh, it's your boy Cole back with another video. Welcome. Uh, this video I have not made. I have not made a video like this in a while. It's been a minute. Uh, I'm going to go through my warm up. I used to do this. I did a video like this a couple times and or once or twice and it did really well. So hopefully it does well again. Obviously, that's the goal. About to hit 90K on YouTube, which is unreal. We're so close to that 100K plaque, man. I'm super excited. I'm just going to take you through my warm up every day when I get on before FNCS, before scrims, before cash cups, uh, any type of cup. Even before I play arena on stream, just vibe out and just have a good time. I always kind of go through this most of the time. I usually go through this warm up and it, and it gets me going every day. It gets me, I feel like playing at a higher level. If I just get on when I don't warm up, I don't feel the same. And I think it's almost a mental thing. Like you warm up every day. So when you don't warm up, you just don't feel warmed up and then you play worse. So if you go through it, it your mind is telling you like, I've done my warm up, I'm ready to go. So not necessarily is it like, it's not necessarily like an actual, like I'm warmed up. But you're tell your mind is telling yourself that you you've told your mind that you've warmed up just by running through the motions. So if you follow this, I mean, I think it's a great warm up. I recently switched it. That's the only reason I'm making a video on it. I'm just gonna run you through the maps and everything. It should be a great video. Make sure to leave a like where you watch. You already know I'm watching. Subscribe. Like I said, about to hit 100k soon. It's getting getting pretty close. All right, let's get let's get right into the video. All right, chat. So I actually chat. All right, YouTube. So I actually have two maps that are like pretty much permanently saved i have an order which i do them now raiders peace control edit course is the one that i've recently started doing for the last like week or two and it has improved me as a player as a fighter significantly significantly i also did switch to um which is why i'm making new settings video i switched to performance mode which has changed my gameplay entirely once again and i'll explain that in the future video my settings video which i'm gonna record right right after this so it'll be up on my youtube probably the day before or after this video we'll see but uh, so now I use this Raiders Peace Control Edit Course, and I'm pretty sure they're coming out with a V4 of this, which I can't wait for because I've been using V. I use V1, 2, and 3. So when when V4 version 4 comes out for this, I'm super excited. I always start off with this one. I think I showed this in my last video, but I'll just run through it again. TDH can make a little highlight. I uh, really me running through this, you know? So I usually pick up, like I said, I usually use a lever for this just because. I was on West now. I'm on East. It should be a lot better. I take a pepper here, which doesn't really make any difference at all. Oh my God, I have West this stick drift. I just go through it all really easy try doing over edits sometimes just like like instead of just doing the one edit or like that sometimes i just mess around do it do more you know really basic warm up if you watch my stream chat or anyone from youtube if you do come to my streams like i'm very often doing this on stream i mean these are all really good edits obviously one of the things about going through edit courses chat is it's not meant to actually make you necessarily better at editing it might it might help your timing you know but like like obviously i have a pepper on right now so this is pretty unrealistic but like it's less to actually make you a better editor and more just to make you like it, your timing for editing is there but it's more to just warm up your fingers that's why it's called a warm-up and not like a mechanical grind i think the best way to practice mechanics necessarily like yeah this will definitely make your mechanics better and more consistent because that's what it's for but obviously like i think the best way to truly make your mechanics better is to like fight people and like play zone wars and box fights and wagers and like really learn different like maneuvers because like i'm not placing these builds i'm just editing through them placing them is part of the game like you don't you're, it's pretty rare you ever have to just like edit through builds like this especially fast this is just to get your edit timing down especially if you don't play on edit and release like i don't play edit and release so i have to press three buttons to edit because i think it's a lot faster even though obviously it sounds counterintuitive but i i don't use edit and release for a reason and like i said guys i'm not warmed up so like this is gonna be might be a little rough to watch <laughs> all right so i usually do this line like i said and then i go to this right here it's literally just a basic double edit course down. I could go as fast as possible, but usually I try to be more consistent than anything, to be honest. I try to be super consistent with it. So like what I'll do is I'll do this edit and then I'll do that and then this and I'll take it slow. And then you eventually, once you get that like muscle memory down, you just try to go as fast as possible with it while not like making too many mistakes as I'm doing it really slow and really bad. But you know what I mean? Like it's more important to hit the edit like it's significantly more important chat to hit the edit than to miss the edit multiple times and then i usually run through all this this is really basic stuff uh it, it's just edit course but then it gets to here a lot of times i'll skip this whole thing not that you should or shouldn't and i'll go to this one and then i'll just run through these because that's like when my, by the time i finish this my hands are already pretty warm so it's just like a pretty basic like edit course and there, there's something that you guys should know about this these like edits uh a lot of the time with like edits i think what people do is they just try to make the edit in any way possible which is great and all don't get me wrong of course you want to make the edit as fast as possible or in any way but sometimes edits 
uh, in this game flow into one another and people don't realize that and I didn't realize that for a long period of time so like when I edit down like this and do this double edit down like, like that like a lot of times my my crosshair is right here so I'm already just making that edit so like watch I'll go slower uh, well I get I won't get to show it here but I'll, I'll do it right out here on this one like edits flow into each other like this like a mongrel classic basic basic mongrel classic like you'll go like this you'll take a wall say the opponent is like it doesn't even matter where they are to be honest when i if i go like this if i if i take this wall and i go like this and i place a ramp like this edit right here leaves me like it leaves me like right here in the middle so when i make this edit i have to like go to the side and do that or i have to go to the side and do that because i end in the middle right here this might not make a lot of sense to you guys, but it's very important. Like I learned this from Sway actually. I watched one of his YouTube videos. Because when I used to Mario Classic, I would always go like I would always go like like that and then that. And it would take me too much time. When in all reality, to be more consistent with it as well, it'll help your consistency if you practice this. Is if you do something basically like this. Like if you start in the middle or you start in the bottom, like say you take the wall and go like this, like you literally end right there. Does that make sense? And then after that, sometimes I'll go through the Mongrel Classic like this. You literally just break replace this is these, these edit courses are so underrated for like helping you with consistency with mongrel classics and stuff oh my god cut that out th holy but you don't have to just do mongrel classics here you know you literally do whatever you want a lot of times i'll just do that because like window edits are basic a lot of times i'll do mongrel classic through the window because that's super important to be able to do and know how to do like running up on a wall like this and literally just like editing it through a window and getting that and like full boxing someone through a window is super, super effective. Uh, like I said, sometimes I'll free build. I don't really do anything else here, but you can do literally whatever you want. This map's amazing. Like I said, I heard they're coming out with a new version of it as well, which should be great. Like the V4, I'm actually excited for it. I've, like I said before, I've used all their recent versions, every single recent version of this. And then next map, I always do that. And then I go into this. This one I've been doing almost strictly over the V3. I think this map has improved me as a fighter and just because it helps with your awareness of peace control. Peace control is a very simple concept, but it's also very intricate with ways you can throw cones around and how the distance of which you can throw cones. And I'm going to try to go through and explain to you guys some of the, the, the courses on this, like some of the things in my head I'm thinking about when I'm going through this course, because it truly has improved me as a player significantly this course alone and i've seen it in real games like i can bring a lot of this stuff into my real gameplay but this map is amazing don't you? it's so good i always pick up attack too because everything else is really bad hit the timer if you want my feet are doing that weird thing when i jump i don't really like that so with this like obviously you can do however you want and i'm not on the timer i'm not really caring about the timer you want to try to get the cones you see what i'm saying like one of the beauties of things that you see like a lot of the best players do like day miro like roller every, uh, anyone you think is a great controller player or any player with peace control like watch what like if i throw my cones like this and like that i can get them into that box and then this wall like the second i hit that wall i can get my cone two cones in this guy's box and like that's something you don't realize until you really practice it but being able to preemptively get that cone in the box means i don't have to make i don't have to place the wall and edit to get the cone does that make sense how much faster you are so you work on in this part of the map i really like to work on throwing cones like knowing you're throwing cones preemptively before uh you don't always do it like right there i messed up but like being able to throw cones in the box before you place the wall is huge because then when you make the edit you can just strictly go for the shot you know and that's something to think about when you're in this map in particular like my frames are really not good on this even on performance right now i don't know what's happening but it's whatever i mean one of the things that you can really be aware of in this map is trying not to take damage or put yourself in an opportunity to take damage I don't really understand this part. You literally just edit through a bunch of things. Like, it's not that helpful. Not bad, though, I guess. It's like close quarters edits, which are, like, the hardest thing to do in game is to cut this tight corner right here. Watch. Like, cutting these tight corners is super important. And it's super... If you want to get, like, really good with peace control, it's super important. Now, okay, this one is really basic. This exercise is super basic. But, like, for me, like, again, it's an, it's an idea of how far can you throw the cone before actually doing anything. So, I edit this cone. Like, that is a far cone. Once you get the cone there, you can do whatever you want. Middle middle window edit, box, cone. You can do that edit. And don't peek. Like I said, like, you don't want to be, like, coning. You don't want to be, like, throwing the cone, going like this, and then, like, standing here to box, because then they can shoot you. Like, you want to be, like, here, and you can still place all the walls and everything. Watch. Like, I already get the cone and wall. So like that wall over there. You can't see me. Jump shot. Like, there's things to work on like this that are super significant that seem so insignificant. 
you don't want to be peeking with your builds out and that's like a super tough concept in this set it's a little harder so i like to do this i like to do that right hand because if you can never give yourself that right hand jump that's way better than uh peeking a left hand obviously there's other ways you can do this like this maybe but you're just putting yourself in a spot to get shot like why would you do that when you don't have to you know what i mean this one's really good for like long range edits i think this course is perfect it literally gives you everything you need you know what I mean? For anyone that doesn't know how to do this, if you keep your builds out from this distance, you can edit this wall. Obviously, it's a metal wall, which means they want you to break it with your gun and then make the edit. So, like, you just hit it once, take it, and they want you to practice baby walling. Like, these little side walls are super effective in a real game. Oh, my God. Now, obviously, you do this when you do this exercise, you can either take it with that or, like, with your gun, or you can pickaxe. I like to pickaxe because I don't like wasting all the ammo in my gun. It feels like I take way too long. So I just go like this. You can use your AR too, obviously. The full piece, the next one. You can stand behind, obviously, like a, like a wall or something. This is like, okay, so they give you three on each side for this one. You just do like, it's like literally a jump. You can decide if you want to place the cone first, like I just did. Have the person full box already. Or you can wall it like a high wall and then cone through like a window. I mean, super like, you know, super basic stuff and they give you the right side. That is like such good things to practice Owned, uh, he's already full box and you know, I mean, I mean, it's just such a good course. Like I think class recommended this to me and it has been an everyday thing for me now. Now for this one, like he's just on the ramp. You can do, you can go whichever way you want. I like to place that first one and edit through it to make it more realistic to like a box. I missed the back wall there obviously but like this is such good practice when you make that window edit you don't want to peek obviously so you, can't, you don't want to give the person a chance to shoot you now we're back onto these like I, I i see this more as like cone throwing practice and like if you can what you want to do is cut corners and by cutting corners i mean like when i go like this chat or guys i i don't mind saying chat it's not it's youtube like you don't want to go like you know you're going around there to get to this box you don't want to go like this and then like this and then like this you know you want to like cut these close corners to be as fast as possible like if i want to get around this corner right here to kill someone who's right in this corner i'm not gonna go like this and then like that i'm gonna go yeah i'll break this for you guys i'm gonna take the close corner route the person's right here on this danger mark so i'm gonna go like this and then in that corner so i can do the fastest possible edit you know so it's like good in your face edit practice and you just want to cut the corners as, as close as possible the majority of the time I don't really know what I'm supposed to do for this one, so I just kind of do the same thing. But like the beauty of it is like you can literally do whatever you want on this course. If you want to make a triple edit into like a cone slide, you can do that. If you want to do a ramp pullback here, it works. You could do this, the full box conversion. You could jump in the box like I'm about to do here. Watch like you can kill this bot up here and then you could do that and get in and get out and get right back out, I guess. All right, I mean, that's it. That's really all I do for the warm up. I don't think there's anything else, right? Other than that, I kind of just go to arena games and then for the most part, I'm done. I run through that course, like the, the Raiders, whatever. You, this time doesn't count. You don't count this time because I was going through it, walking you guys through it. If I wanted to, that took me 17 minutes, apparently. If I wanted to, to walk, to not walk through the course, I could probably do it in like 30, 40 seconds tops. My worst time ever would probably be like 50 seconds for this whole thing. It, it's super easy. I'm super fast. I just would never show you guys that because I wouldn't want to embarrass anyone. Uh, yeah, but that's it. I think that's pretty much it for the warm-up but yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed man hope you guys enjoyed like i said drop a like on the video leave a sub i'll be back with another video right after this i'm about to record a settings video real quick and i'm gonna go into super super detail so stay tuned for that stick around for that peace